Welcome back, everyone, to the next installment of Dark Souls 2. We have a couple things to do here. One of the things I want to do just before I forget is go to the Undead Crypt. There's a certain thing I want to do now that I have the King's Ring. I'll try to make this little journey quick. Aha! Will he actually follow me in, I wonder? If he's just... he just glued to that door? What a fool. Get this guy coming after me. And we're good. Block the hexes. Dodge the lightning, which apparently exists. Oh my god. Alright, we're golden. And I'm already where I need to be. How about that action? What do you require, human? You have met the king, have you? Life is never easy. Never fair. Even more so on this path you've chosen. May you find your peace one day. Take these with you. You may need them. As proof of your visit here. There we go. Dark drift. Robe, cuffs, kilt. Awesome. Crude human. Do as you please. Got what I came for. Oh yeah, did I ever look at Mace of the Insolent? The Mace of formerly high-ranking clerics. It is a combined with a sacred chime. It can cast miracles and hexes with strong attack. The clerics held venerated positions once, but now their souls wander aimlessly in the depths of a murky darkness. So I can use miracle and hex in strong attack? That's crazy. Oh yeah, did I ever look at Magic Shield either? Small shield used by Lady Apostles, and be with a special magic that allows spells to be deflected by parrying. At the le yeah, this is new. The Lady Apostles were inhabitants of the Undead Crypt, but failed to treat death with the proper respect. As punishment, they were denied peaceful deaths. Dark Drift. Katana of Grave Ward and Agdane has a crystal clear blade and a strong attack that slices through enemy shields. This katana was originally wielded by the one who gave us the first death. It still exists imperfectly between planes. I can't do proper decks. Requires 28, which is ridiculous. But... Oh my god, it's a shadow katana. It's almost invisible. That's pretty cool, though. Okay. Now to get out of here... I have to awkwardly make my way right back where I came from. Something hit me, but whatever. No time for that now. What happened to the shield knight? Wait. What? What happened to the giant shield knight? Okay. That's a little weird, isn't it? Normally I would just sneak by this guy, but... Wow. One of the, uh... The people praying showed up and went after me. Okie dokie. Also, just for show... I didn't realize this at first, but killing Velstad triggered a certain something. Oh, duh, and I should look at Agdane's armor as well. Robe worn by Agdane of the Undead Crypt. Life itself is suffering, or karma, as some have called it. The embrace of death awaits all things, but does death mean an end to suffering? Yeah, 
we've seen the gauntlets. Agdane's cuffs, same thing. Kilt, same thing, and no helmet. Yeah, I really should get rid of all this stuff though. This is a lot of stuff I don't want. Look at all this stuff just in my inventory. It's ridiculous. Okay. But the big one is going to be equipment. Look at all that. Shields. All this equipment. I gotta hit up Gavlan. I know I've mentioned this before, but damn. Redundant rings. I'm only keeping the the otherwise the, the rings otherwise in my inventory so I know what I should buy. Just in case it says I have zero on hand. Okay. Cool. But what I was going to mention was this. Now that I've killed Velstat, this happens. You've been long away. Well. Whoa! We got infinite shards and large shards. Now she sells chunks. Only ten, though. And a slab. Twinkling. Petrified dragon bone. Only a limited amount, though. Faint stone. What was faint? Magic. Boltstone, fire, dark, poison, lacerating, raw, magic. A weapon with magic versus equipment with magic, okay. And old mundane. So yeah, she sells that stuff now, which is cool. No interest. I really do need to start infusing stuff though, if only for the achievement at the um, Macduff's blacksmith, like his smithy. Now let's go back to where I had originally tended to go, the Shaded Woods. Where I need to go is actually the second bonfire of the Shaded Woods. Where I want to go is this bonfire. It's been a little while since we've gone dungeon crawling in the Shaded Woods. Oh yeah, these untargetable guys, I hate them. Maybe I should have given my strength a little boost last time I leveled up. Although I finally had the dexterity required to equip my uh, twin blade. Which, come to think of it, I should start upgrading. Because I actually do plan on using that. Right, now I gotta remember where I wanted to go. It was right around here too. I forgot how potent that curse was. Wow, I can't believe I didn't get cursed. And somehow I attracted the Lion Warrior? Okay, fine. Didn't quite do it. Almost did it. Unbelievable. I want to go around here, I believe. That's that pit I fell in. That's how I got to the boss. I think, wasn't it around here? Yeah. This is where I want to be. Long time no see, am I right? Finally, you are here, young undead. Now, open the depths of darkness. 
Young undead, the dark awaits you. I'm already in, right? Yeah. Okay, here we go. The mouth to the dark chasm is not normally open. If you seek the dark, young undead, you must offer a human effigy. Now, we have these three locations, right? The Shaded Woods is one of them, but I have Pilgrims of the Dark dungeons, and I think I might be ready to try it out. Here we go. Dark Chasm of Old, and I am... I'm not sure if I'm dark or if it's just the weird lighting. I think I'm dark. That's death. That is also death. Do I actually have to jump it? No, I don't. Immediately we have the dungeon itself trying to kill me. That's creepy. Uh oh. Ah, woo ho ho, okay. No thanks. God, that's creepy. What are you even? I got you. Ow, okay. Well. Yeah, so in this sense, I guess I'm an invading phantom. If I'm beaten, I'm sent back. And if I'm sent back, then yes, I will have to offer another human effigy to come back in. That's what can make this frustrating. This is where you can just grind away human effigies. Also, I really hope I'm not luring his friend. Like, I, I kind of am. It's intimidating. Oh, wow. That was too close. Okay, I think I lured his friend. That's bad. See, what makes me nervous is that, according to a guide, this is, quote, by far the easiest of the three dungeons. So there's that to consider. Now, what's your gimmick? You're fast. And you can include, you can do bleed. Good, I can stun you. Or make you flinch at least, maybe if not stun. This might not be so bad. That's bad. It's fine. Good. Ah, that was, again, I gotta stop doing that. I gotta stop allowing the guard break to happen. Done. Okay, that was scary. Now, I think that was the main challenge.
Now here's the gimmick. I have to beat the enemies in these dungeons, but I also have to light the flame. The problem is, if I came in with a torch, I think it would be extinguished anyway, but it would also mean I couldn't use a shield. So I must use flame butterflies. Set light. There. And that signifies my victory. So now you've seen flame butterflies. They can light my torch regardless of whether I have a, a place to light it otherwise. Also, I can actually see this room now. Okay, now to leave. We're going further down, are we? Great. Where's my exit? Are we not done? That's definitely an enemy. Great. He's slightly smart. And that really hurt. This could be dangerous, actually. Okay, how do I heal? How do, like, when do I heal? I think I'm gonna regret this. I lucked out. That still didn't heal much, considering how much those attacks hurt. What I need to do is get a... What? Okay. go and aggro the fighter try a clever little trick and he's dead got him And the mage. Done. One thing I thought was amusing is that the mage actually dropped a bonfire ascetic. Those things can be kind of hard to find, but he just gives one up. Relax, what the hell? What happened to you being an archer? I liked you better as an archer. Look at this. Get the hell out of here. That didn't even do that much damage. Maybe I really should change my weapon up. The broadsword was more than enough to carry me through Dark Souls 1, but it's really, unfortunately, showing its age in this game. I don't know what this guy's doing, but... Making it a little easy for me. So, no complaints, I suppose? Damn. But he still functions like a phantom in that he has invincibility when he gets up, unlike standard enemies. But now he's dead. Goodbye. So now, unfortunately, I have to use the uh, the flame butterfly. As cool as that looks. Set light. Boom. A hint of my possible victory. Don't fall in that hole. Summon the elevator. And then try not to die from bleed status fast stabbing guy. That guy's really difficult. And I can't even quickly counter him. Like, I can, but he he has that I don't care, I'm hitting you back anyway effect. It's really frustrating. So here he is. And there's the exit. But I have to kill him. And there actually does not appear to be any pit. Good for me for navigation, bad for me for killing this guy, because I can't cheese him like I did the others. I don't mind if he rolls away, I just mind if uh, he quickly counterattacks. Yeah, 
this. See, like, he hits way harder than I do. With my absurd strength stat and my plus 10 broadsword. Like, what the hell? Oh, this is not a fair trade. And healing is so hard with this guy. Look at that. He's, he's getting the bleed status ready. It's absurd. Look, look at this. I can't even get a shot in without paying for it. Actually, I'm curious. I'm quite curious. This isn't good. There. I wonder. I almost hoped he would join me. But the point is, I can heal. I can get away with this. Okay, back to the grind. It actually would have been really amazing if he had just gone in the hole where the elevator was. That would have been a fantastic. And we're back, like nothing happens. Can't sneak up on him though. But talk about lame cheesing, right? <laughs> All I have to do is do this a hundred more times, and I'll win! I can throw him out of his, uh, his combo, but he has, like, no, like, instant recovery time from that shield that that, that guard break movie does. Like, I really don't know when I'm supposed to attack, unless I just want to trade all the time. Look at this. Like, give me a freaking break. There we go. So I need perfect timing even more perfect than standard Dark Souls would require. <laughs> more perfect. That's a term that exists. Okay. Time to heal. I don't even care if this guy tries to ask this. I gotta get the hell out of here. This has gotta be one of the lamest ways I've ever cheesed the Dark Souls boss. Like, this is pathetic. And he's not even really a boss boss. Also, I don't care if this guy uses Estus. I, I will hack away at him. Okay, he didn't. So if I can get him before that third hit, boom, that, that would have been it. But immediately I'm gonna need to heal again. This is so irritating. Oh. Well, I somewhat countered his Estus. One, two. That's what I want to do. Whoa, okay. Relax, buddy. There. One, maybe two more of those. Thank you. That was terrifying. And he actually dropped something. Another bonfire ascetic, just like the mage had done that one time. Okay. I let the scones upstairs. I beat him so this dark fog gate is gone. I walk through... Uh Yeah, it looks like I did it. Your devotion to your covenant is deep and you've gained a rank. Finally, I gained a rank in a covenant. Young undead, the dark beset upon you runs deeper than I had imagined. Let us see just how much dark you can endure. You have seen dark that has existed from times long past. What once was a great void of darkness became but fragments. But slowly, the scattered fragments grew, absorbing all things. It is we who will be pilgrims to these sacred sites. Resonant soul. The embrace of the dark is gentle. May the dark. Was it resonant soul? Did I already have that? Resonant weapon, flesh. So I might have already had that, but that's okay. There's more where that came from. 
Now, unfortunately, I cannot talk to this guy and enter, like, I can enter again, but it's the same dungeon, so I won't get credit for having beaten the second dungeon. I must actually find... Okay. I must actually find this guy at his other location. Locations. And I don't even think I want to try the, uh, the final location. I think that'll be the death of me. The repeated deaths of me. But I will hazard one more. Just one more. Oh. Get the hell out of here. Fortunately, this takes me right back to a bonfire, so I can't complain about that. I can complain about this lion. He's just... I keep forgetting how hard they hit. He's just chilling here. So, let's go to, of all places, because we missed it so much, the Black Gulch. I can't wait. This is going to be the death of me. I think I'm actually going to want to work these, uh, these statues a little bit, because... I do not need to get poisoned on my way down. So far so okay. We're doing this again, are we? Very irritating. But the statues do shoot at him, so I don't know. If he gets poisoned, that'd be pretty rad, actually. I don't think it worked, but good hustle, good effort. I wonder if I can knock him off the pit too. Maybe I could? I don't think he moves enough though, and he's smart enough to roll. So too bad for me. No, he does not move. He's more of a tank than the enemies in the Pilgrims of Dark. Oh, he got a shot off on me. Well, that's just peachy. I didn't think that would happen. Come on with that. That's more like it. Now let's finish the job. Got him. And now to heal at the bonfire because the statues will stay destroyed. And I'm okay with uh, this particular spirit coming back, because, yeah, human effigy. It's payment for this Pilgrims of Dark Covenant. Freaking ridiculous that this is a thing. What sucks is that if I die, I will have to navigate these poison statues again, because death does respawn them, which is super not cool. I already got those. Just, like, one shot almost poisons me. It's freaking insane. Oops. And I'm poisoned. Cool. Thanks, game. I love it. I guess now I can destroy these at my leisure, right? You know what? Maybe I'll just run away. I'm gonna die now, I guess. Or am I? Ugh, gross. Aha, expert dodging. I was really hoping I could just run by these guys. But at least they're gone forever now. Well, forever in quotes. They're gone for this duration. Oh boy. This game really doesn't play around with its poison. Damn, dude. Ah. There. No distractions, please. Freaking ridiculous with this. And I love how I almost got poisoned immediately again.
There we go. Well, that's what the life gems are for, I guess. All this just to get to the stupid covenant. Is this unbelievable? Now the pit was like right around here. Was that even it? That might be it. I hope it is. It was between the snakes, wasn't it? Well, if it was between the snakes, don't it be here instead? Okay, dude, you can stop. I'll give him one more chance. Come on out, buddy. It's enough out of you. Okay. 